Hey guys, one up Indy here coming with a little story. Hopefully you can follow me and you get a little bit entertained and maybe you already know what's happening. So we are uh, dry, uh, drawing some text on the screen. So basically what you're seeing in front of you and it looks terrible. So as you can see, zero out of 10. Let's switch back to Godot because this is of course the <laughs> superior program game maker studio. Bye bye. Eh, not as much. So as you can see, this is definitely not good. So let's uh, go step by step so you can see what's actually happening. So let's say you say like, mm, I wanna use a specific font. You can pick one out if you like, but we just go with uh, Arial because why not? Then we create a little object. That one we call, or we call you draw some text. Here we go. Copy paste because we are lazy. And then we have a little draw event. And then we just say like, hey, draw, let's make this bigger. Draw text, here you go. A, spe a specific position and then some text, here we go. Yeah, come on, come on, ay, ay, ay. And then for example, we start it. And then wah, 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 our first mistake, <laughs> rookie mistake. We need, of course, to place that thing into the room. And then we can see, mm, this is a little bit too small. So let's ramp it up and then we can use, I don't know, draw text transformed. Then for example, what we do, this is basically the same stuff. Some, and then, I don't know, make the image X and Y scale. Come on, show the tooltip, show it. So here, let's make this five times bigger. And now you will see that it is ultra blurry. So you're thinking, mm, not good. Let's. Let's change this a little bit. So let's make this bigger. Let's go for 200 because le why not? Let's start it again. And boom, looks still blurry. So you're thinking like, okay, this is it. <laughs> Good old for life once again. Yeah, little thing which you uh, need to do at the, well, let's call it the very beginning is to set and give the information to Game Maker Studio. Hey, I want to use the font. So font set. No, this is wrong, draw, set, and then font, here we go. And then we just use the font, which we, well, kind of customized, but we didn't. And then we got some bonus stuff in the very end. So here, stay tuned. And then, da -da 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 -da. it still looks kind of blurry. So what is happening? Well, let's make this font a little bit bigger. So let's go for... I don't know, 30. And as you can see, it looks already crisper. So what is the deal? So one thing which you need to understand is, so for example, if you are using any kind of font and you define it here, then one thing which is happening, you just go into game options and then here, for example, macOS or Windows, and then you got graphics. And then here you can check out your texture page. Then we run preview. This will take a few seconds. And then we can actually open it up in, I don't know, a program. Of course here, this thing is white. And then boom, let's make the background red so you can actually see. And this already looks kind of okay-ish. Of course, it's a little bit blurry, but not too much. As you can see, this is already much, 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 much better. And this is what Game Maker Studios basically do. It's creating an image with all the uh, well characters of which you are using. And then, for example, it is then storing that stuff on your texture page. So basically, they, these are little images. And then it's just uh, cutting out and then it is using those images, not the font itself, to draw text. So this is the background. So for example, if you're saying like, mm, I want to well make it a little bit nicer and smoother. So what you can do is just go, and this is of course overkill, please don't do that. You can go with 100 as you can see, whoa, super smooth. And then for example, once we say like, hey, check out our texture page once again, let's input the newest version. And as you can see, uh, come on, come on, let's make this a little bit faster red and boom and this is already much 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 smoother so as you can see now here you can do some fine tuning and therefore it makes sense to 
define your font and make it a little bit bigger. Of course, you don't need to make it ultra big because then this is just basically wasting resources. But if you make it ultra small, so let's say five or whatever, this is too small. And one thing, for example, if you don't want to, to the anti-aliasing, so basically this is like smoothening the well, the font. So for example, if you put that on off, as you can, then it will be having very, 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 come on, zoom, 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 very, very hard lines. And this is basically the issue which one guy uh, on YouTube had. So uh, let's start that again. Zoom, 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 zoom. And now, of course, hopefully you learned a few things. So let's go 40 and anti-aliasing. Then, then it looks kind of nice. I don't know. I'll go, I would say 30 to 50 is kind of an optimum because... Um, um, font doesn't need to be like let's say this kind of uh, fine-tuned and then well we can start it again and of course let's make this not as big because now uh, it is relative so for example this is then the default size it's 50 and then we multiply it with the x x and y scale so basically we're scaling it up two times or ten times or whatever so let's check this out and boom text looks smooth and this is the whole thing about text in Game Maker Studio. So if it's kind of blurry, first of all, you need to set it. And second of all, define it so it is uh, as smooth as you like it. And of course, anti-aliasing. And then of course here, uh, once again, um, this stuff is getting stored on your graphics, on your texture page. It's getting saved because this is a legal thing. Uh, even though, for example, you maybe own a few of those fonts, most of them you don't, and therefore, this is kind of a gray area, I'm not sure about this one, but legally you cannot just take over the font. So basically the game makers do this in like, okay, let's uh, <laughs> make some glyph out of that and then store them on the texture page and boom, we can use the font. This is the way it goes. Hopefully that was of interest to you. Now you understand how that stuff is working. A little bit of rambly from my side, but I thought like, hey, give a little insight and now you maybe understand how to set up all that stuff easy peasy way along your journey of game development. Only right, that was it from my side and boom, I am out. Have a good one. One up indie.